Welcome back, everyone. We're starting off with our national satellite and radar, which is showing just how massive this system of thunderstorms was throughout the day, not just for our state, but still lasting throughout much of the Midwestern states, stretching all the way down now out toward Georgia and going as far west as even Wyoming and Colorado with severe storms on the tail end of it right now in central Texas. But good news is a lot of the showers and thunderstorms we saw earlier today are beginning to dissipate as we head into those overnight hours. And that is some good news because check this out. It was mainly a trough kind of sitting right over top of us well, throughout today, but it was out to the west a little bit earlier. So places like Riverton saw some early showers. Casper and Cheyenne saw it throughout the e afternoon and evening time. Now that's moving out of the way. High pressure is moving back into the region, leaving us with nice clear skies, allowing temperatures to finally warm back up. And yeah, high pressure is going to stick around, try and do its job as long as it can, really even going into early on Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, well, it can only do so much for so long as a little bit more cloud cover begins pushing in from the west with the chance for some, again, very isolated showers out to the far western regions of the state. And that's really all just from the next cold front coming in from the northwest. Until then, though, troughs themselves don't really bring a lot of strong wind gusts. Tomorrow, it's actually the high pressure kind of pushing all of the leftover cloud cover and moisture will bring some stronger gusts during the afternoon and evening time, getting up to about 30 miles per hour, possibly even more in wind prone regions like Elk Mountain, but nothing really in terms of very strong wind gusts that it will cause a number of travel impacts, delays or partial closures. And it's going to remain calm really all the way until Thursday when we start to see more activity pushing its way back into the region and that will calm down again as we head into the overnight hours. Good news is overnight tonight we're going to start to warm up a little bit more still going to be slightly below average for this time of year more of those 30s starting to see a little bit more 40s 40 in Newcastle, Gillette and Buffalo expect to see more of those in the next coming days. But check this out. All right, we're already starting to see that warm up. It will continue to get even warmer than this, but now we're getting closer to the seasonal range. More of those upper 60s in places like Cheyenne, Buffalo, and Newcastle, and more of those lower 70s in central areas like Casper, Riverton, as well as Lander. On that extended forecast, even better news. So if this was not warm enough for you tomorrow, take a look at Thursday and Friday, 70s and 80s making a comeback before that next system comes through. Unfortunately, kind of putting a damper on the weekend, literally dampening our weekend with lots of rain. Breezy conditions picking up in Casper on Friday and Saturday and the rest of the viewing area seeing a similar kind of pattern. So enjoy the next few days, mostly clear skies and temperatures warming right back up. Nick, what do we have coming up next?